In this video, we are learning about Pythagoras' theorem. Pythagoras was a Greek mathematician to recognize the relationship between the sides of a right angle triangle. This special relationship forms the Pythagoras theorem. This theorem applies to right angle triangle only. This is also called Bodhayan theorem. It states that in a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. Here, hypotenuse is the largest side of a right angle triangle. It is always opposite the right angle. First, we are going to write what is given in the statement. Given a right angle triangle, name it as A, B, and C. Given that ABC is a right angle triangle, in which angle B makes 90 degrees, to prove that the square of the hypotenuse, that is, AC square is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides, that is AB square plus BC square. Now, to prove this theorem, we are going to make a little construction. From B, draw a perpendicular line BD, meeting the line AC at D. We simply write it as BD perpendicular to AC. See here, when we draw a perpendicular line. This right angle triangle is divided into two triangles. One is triangle ADB, second one is triangle BDC. So, here, three triangles are appearance. That is triangle ABC, triangle ADB, and triangle BDC. Take two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle ADB. Observe these two triangles. Angle A is common. Here, angle B and angle D make 90 degrees. That is, angle ABC and angle ADB are equal to 90 degrees. According to the similarity, two triangles are said to be similar. If their corresponding angles are equal and the lengths of their corresponding sides are proportional. By angle-angle similarity or AA similarity, if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the triangles are similar. Therefore, triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADB. Similarly, their sides would be proportional. AB by AD is equal to AC by AB. Cross multiply. We get AB square is equal to AC into AD. This is equation 1. Now, take triangle ABC and triangle BDC. Observe these triangles. Angle C is common. Here, angle B and angle D make 90 degrees. That is, angle ABC and angle BDC are equal to 90 degrees. By angle-angle similarity, if two angles of one triangle are congruent to angles of another triangle, then the triangles are similar. Therefore, triangle ABC is similar to triangle BDC. Similarly, their sides would be proportional. BC by DC is equal to AC by BC. Cross multiply. We get BC square is equal to AC into DC. This is equation 2. Adding equation 1 and equation 2, we get AB square plus BC square is equal to AC into AD plus AC into DC. AB square plus BC square is equal to here AC is common. AC into remaining terms AD plus DC. AC into from the figure. AD plus DC can be written as AC. AC into AC, nothing but AC square. Therefore, AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Hence, Pythagoras' theorem proved. This theorem is used to find the length of unknown side of the right angle triangle. If we take one example, 
here a is equal to 4 b is equal to 3 c is equal to x substitute these values in the pythagoras theorem after simplification we get x is equal to 5 therefore the length of the unknown side is 5 units